Oh, hello there, Meow. Did you come to play with me, Meow? Oh, you're a cat girl. You apparently shoot hearts that- <gasps> You shoot hearts that follow me. One through here, oh. <gasps> yeah, let me go. All right, everybody, it's time for us to dive back into the world of wholesome pixel art style metroidvanias, and today we have a little banger by the name of Drain Mansion, which is kind of a weird name for a title, I would say, huh? It leads me to believe they have some sort of problem with excessive fluids. That being said, we're checking out version 1.21. I will have a link for the developer on the description down below, but you can actually see one of the screen right here. If you go there, you can download this build that I'm playing for free completely. But there is a version 1.31, which if you support the developer on Patreon, will give you access to that. I'm thinking that if I do more beyond this video, if you guys want to see some more, do let me know. I will actually upgrade to version 1.31 and maybe cover a little bit of that, but I wanted to start with 1.21 so you see, or in case you guys downloaded yourselves, it's what you're seeing from my video itself, if that makes any sense. That said, let's check out Drain Mansion. A brother and sister were walking in the forest. They've noticed something that wasn't there before. It was an old mansion. The sister went ahead to investigate the mysterious place while the brother stayed behind. After much time, she did not return. The brother heard something from behind. When he turned around, suddenly his vision went blank. He had fallen unconscious. When he woke up, he was in a place he hadn't seen before. Okay, so this will be our main character right here looking for his sister. Waking up in a really weird place. What do we got here? Use left arrows to move. You can only use a controller. Oh, really? Should probably do that next time around. I feel more at home with these platformers with a controller. Press X to jump. You got it. If you, excuse me. If you ever get caught by an enemy, mash enter. Oh. Oh. What else? On items with red question marks, you can use items. Oh, imagine that. Use items and items. So... Pop that open. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, so we have Succubi in this game, huh? That's intriguing. Especially with a game called Drain Mansion. Demons who live from draining males' life energy. The amount of energy stolen matters from a succubi's strength. The higher ranking the succubus, the more energy they can take with an- oh, oh! Usually, however, a succubus won't stop until their prey is dead. It is too much of a pleasure for them to take male's life, as the last bit of their energy is said to be the most delicious. Mm. Oh, did you finally wake up? Foo 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 foo. I found it in a nearby forest and brought you here. Did you sleep well? I'm a being called Succubus, and I'm gonna eat you up. Let's play a game. If you can get to the end of this corridor, without me catching you, I'll let you go. For now, at least. Well, you might want to start running now. Foo 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 foo. Oh, I know those foo foos too well from Monster Girl Quest. Okay. Uh, we cannot allow this creature to capture us because I believe bad things will happen to us if it does, so let's just keep running. We, we escaped. This evil, evil succubus that was gonna do terrible things to us like drain us of our life energy. But I saw somebody moving back and forth over here, am I wrong? Oh no, they're coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So apparently they have this green aura on them. As long as we avoid this, they should not trigger on us. You look very similar to the one that we just escaped from. We got a safe spot here. And apparently a moving platform, huh? I I mean, there's obviously a something below us, I have to imagine, a succubus. I don't think we can make this jump. No, we can't. It seems we can't actually make that jump, and when you land down there, terrible things happen to our character. So, we're gonna actually go a different route. So, there's a succubi here. Let's get away from that. I'm not sure if there's something beyond her. I guess we could kind of trail her right now to find out. We also have that path in the upper right as well, but let's see. Okay, we could hide here. There's another door over there, too, so... We'll pop out now. And let's see what this one holds for us. Ooh, 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 okay. Ah, ah, oh, oh, we're fine, we're fine. I just uh, forgot to jump there momentarily. There's items over there. Let's see if we can make this jump without falling. 
the hell is this? Picked up a red book, and a platform has been activated nearby. Oh, ooh, I wonder if that's the, uh, <laughs> the one that was missing just now. <laughs> wow! Oh, it seems like it has, yeah, you can see it in the mini-map. There it is. Perfect. I'm not sure we should go here just because there was still like a pad up to the upper right when we started. There's apparently a green book there, but I can't reach that just yet. So I guess for now we'll come on down through here. What the hell is this? You seeing this floor right there? Uh, I don't like the look of that, my friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. Oh yeah, there's somebody down there too. So you fall down there, you get God. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to get one over me, my friend. Let's see if we can do this jump here. Very good. Jump. All right. We're not falling for that one. That's the old Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner gag right there. Where does this lead us to? I'm not sure. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. I'm not sure where we are. This is not the starting area, though. It looks kind of similar. Oop, oop. Okay. Need that key, and we'll run off to the left hand side. Red key. We have like two red keys now. Open store with red locks. Now we got two of them. We still have the one from the tutorial, apparently. Okay. Now where do you lead to? Oh, the other side to pick up the green book. Perfect. Now, do you say something different? No, the green book is uh, a green color book. Okay, thanks. Okay, so now that we've cleared these areas, let's go off to the upper right. Oh, wait, wait, there's also that one door that we didn't check out at the start, huh? That was locked. I mean, we did pick up a red key. That's probably the one for this, I would say, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll check out the upper right later. You can hide here. Does that mean there's a succubi? Succubus roaming about? We also have red floor. Not sure what that- uh oh. Oh, my eyes didn't deceive me. It really was a human. <laughs> well, do you mind if I eat you up here? It's not like you can escape anywhere. You're trapped here with me. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Interact, interact, no interacting. What, what am I supposed to- <gasps> Oh, the books! Oh, but I don't have a blue book! Oh, I'm missing a book! Alright. Well, I guess we're a god. She's got the skull, too. Alright, well, guess what? That was a ruse. It was a ruse if you don't have all three books just yet. So apparently we're missing a blue book. So we cannot go there until we acquire this blue book, which does indeed mean that we, I guess, we have to check out this area over here. Which has been... trailed back and forth by you. So... What's over here? Apparently there's a locked door. So that means we gotta pop out, use the key. I assume that we have the key. It should be the red key still, right? It seems to be a red question mark. So you... go... Oh, no, don't there. Not there. Oof, close. Oh, another save room. Sweet. Okay, so we got our saved and pick up the blue book. So now we have all the three books that we require. There also seems to be a door over there. Behind this passage. Wonder how we activate this. Okay, let's try this again. This time we know the trick. We got the books. And it just skips it. Perfect. So blue, green, and red. Let's go. So the walls basically rise up, huh? Perfect. A secret door is open somewhere. Oh, in the upper left? That's weird. I guess we gotta move... You. Oh, it's a secret door. <laughs> okay. Cool. Where are we at now? Are we back... Oh, we're back where we started. So this is the room where we got chased just now. Hmm. I mean, where do we go now, though? Do you think it opened up also that switch, that door, or at least that wall that was covering that one door? Okay, so I was right. So that switch that we hit did open up this wall that was here, covering this one door, apparently, in this little locked room, so... That's done. Where do you lead to? I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Oh, oh, we're being chased! So word to the wise, after you've gone through that door the second time, just keep moving to the right. Because otherwise, that succubus is going to show up and scare the bejesus out of you like it did me. Alright, so it seems we're in a new biome type of area now. This one seems more dungeon-like as well. Chains hanging all over the place. What do you do? 
I don't know. I turned you red, though, so you're red now, cool. There are many kinds of succubi exist. Each and every one of them is specialized in some kind of desire that males like. All of them are just as dangerous, though. Don't let their looks deceive you. They're still demons who are out for your life. So we're through the first biome. For now, let's see. I guess we'll hit the switch to turn it red. And we'll see what this does out of here. We have a couple of doors. Um. Well, uh. <laughs> it seems like we're stuck here. So word to the wise. Once you're here, keep moving. At all times in this game, keep moving. I feel like you're always safe, like once you go through a room somewhere, but no. The succubi just happened to randomly show up. Now here we have apparently a bottomless pit. Can't make that jump. How's this gonna work? <gasps> this is the skull one as well, so we gotta be really quick. Okay. He <gasps> I believe that hitting the red the switch to red. Probably not the best idea, maybe? So let's go with green this time. And let's see if this actually opens up something else for us. <gasps> oh. You see what's happening? She's stuck back there. So this is the room we couldn't get to. This is the one that has the traps, right? Yes. I mean, so at some point or another, we'll probably have to let her out. But right now, let's actually explore this room first. Now that right there also seems like a trap. Oddly enough, there's no succubies around here, so... I'm not sure if I want to risk it just yet, though. They tend to pop up out of nowhere. But we could move you. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You're not a trap. You're just a switch. So we dropped that box on you to open that up. Gotcha. Okay. Or wait, we could just do this too, right? But we do have one more box up there, so more than likely we also have to bring that one down with us. Or maybe even ride it. Yeah, so I think we probably have to push one of these boxes onto this platform. Mm-hmm. He's done it. And that would have probably opened this up, which would have been locked otherwise. Okay. And that leads to this. Good. Doesn't mean we're safe, though, because this game likes to pop things up on you the moment you come in through, so be careful. <laughs> Just double checking. Keep running, keep running. I don't like the sounds that I'm hearing. I'm gonna come in here because... It's gotta be here for a reason, right? We have a platform, or at least a box next to us. Which, more than likely, we might have to drop on that moving platform, I think. We have to time it. That one doesn't move. Oh, now it's moving. Hmm. So if you fall, maybe you can ride that one to go back up. I still think probably that we gotta drop this on top of that. I think. Yeah, you know what? I think that might have landed directly on the switch that we needed. That was risky, but... It landed where I thought it would. Perfect. <laughs> not bad. Kinda screwed myself there at the start, but not bad. I can't hide here, which is problematic, but I guess we don't need it. Okay, two items here. Stone tablet. And wing shoes. Does that mean double jump? Yes, it does! What does the other one do? A cross-shaped stone tablet. Maybe it fits somewhere? Okay, so let's see. Was it this room? No. However, there was a big gap here. Which, it seems we might be able to double, a double jump across now. Where does it lead? Well, I got no idea. But at least we're not falling. That closing behind me worries me. Are we going back to where we came from? No. But there's a safe spot up top. Not sure this is the way I want to be, but... Oh, damn it. Can't go through here. What about through there? No. So there's a save, yes, but it's apparently locked up. Therefore, pick a door. I guess we'll go left first. Mm -hmm. Suck it up top. So we get it off. 
There's a box over there though, so we probably gotta do some manipulation of that. Okay. Okay, so that's on that. I guess that opened up this switch, but for what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's apparently now an opening down here too. Well, last time when I hit this, it didn't really help us out, but I imagine we have to for this one. So we got green here. That was door number, or at least door left. Curious if you have now opened up, maybe... Oh, one of them did open up, I think. So the right door will probably have one more switch that opened up the room to for us to save and also progression more than likely. Big box in the middle. That's about it. Oh, can I move this big box? I can. Up there we got Big Succubi. I somehow think we gotta push this off to the right. Okay. Now... Are you the skull variation? Oh, we can't move that! Not the skull variation, but we can't move that box. Although, she stands on it momentarily. There's also another box behind her. I'm not gonna hang around for too long to find out what that does. There's a switch. There you go. So her standing on it momentarily is enough for us to get in, hit it, and then come back out. Well, I guess with this I'm... Oh, hello there, Meow. Did you come to play with me, Meow? Oh, you're a cat girl. You're a cat girl. You apparently shoot hearts that- <gasps> You shoot hearts that follow me. Can you get up here? Ooh. Don't like that. Don't like that. Okay. Okay, keep running. Keep running. Something tells me we gotta hit. One through here. Oh! Okay, so the first part, pretty straightforward. We gotta figure out this part, then. Which I'm confused by. Let's start off by maybe just putting that there. Now she jumps as well. Oh, you know what? The other side's opened up now. Uh, I see now. I see. I get it. So then we push that one here. I'm not sure what that heart does, but I don't want to find out. Okay, and there's gonna be our safe spot. We have now loot back. We have two stone tablets. Perfect. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments and we'll definitely come back and do a little bit more of this old draining mansion. And if you guys want to see the um, unfortunate demise scenes of our heroic hero, you know where to go for those as well. I'll catch you guys next time.